to Spirit of Outdoors. I've got a box here that I'm looking forward to opening. Uh, Miss Sherry at Set Power contacted me the other day, said, would you like to review a refrigerator? Sure. Um, one of the things, this is a blessing to me because the refrigerator in our camper is currently not working. We've got to have some repairs on it. It's difficult to find somebody at times to work on such as that kind of stuff and it's an older camper. This will come in handy for me because not only is it confined to the camper, I can put it in the boat. I can put it in the back of the buggy. I can put it in the back of the truck. I can, depending on what I'm doing. So this is a basically a cooler that is a refrigerator. So let's not make a big long drawn out video about it. Let's open this thing up. This is from Set Power. And uh, I went on there and picked out which one I wanted that I thought would fit what I do the best. They have several different models. Uh, and they're not really that expensive when you burst them against like Yeti coolers and stuff like that. I love my Yeti cooler. The problem with those, any of those coolers are is you've got to put something in there to keep your stuff cold. You've got to put ice, ice packs. I use a lot of froze bottles of water, but they're taking up a lot of your room, which if you're throwing fish or something like that in there, it's not really a big problem. But if you're packing it for a camping trip and you're trying to put enough drinks and meat and water and food and all of this stuff in there, you need that room. The next thing is it gets hot here in Mississippi. And when we go to the grocery store, once you buy your groceries, you've got to head straight home because it's like a 20 minute drive home for us. Well, you got an air conditioned vehicle, but if you stop anywhere to, to like, you need to go in another store if something happens and you cut that vehicle off and go inside a store, well then you've got X number of minutes that you're in that store that there's no air conditioning and that thing truck will turn like a greenhouse and it's a hundred degrees Well, inside it'll get 160. This will be sitting there running. Well, well, you can put your groceries, your milk, your stuff in there. It could make a lot of life a lot easier. So let's open this up and let's see what's in it. Um, now it came just like you see it. We're doing the unboxing. It was packaged up. Oh, well, I believe my knife has gotten dull. Change blades. Yeah, there we go. And I wanted y'all to film this video out there on the back of the buggy or somewhere, but y'all, the wind here right now. Wind is howling. Y'all know what howling is? Mean, so if you get wind noise on the camera, I apologize. Uh, there's not really a lot right now I can do about it. So I'm having to... Uh, I'm sure you're getting some wind noise in the uh, microphone. But... Well, y'all, I didn't realize that if that slides apart, I could have just skid that up off of it. I did not realize that. I did not. Now I got a place to put. <laughs> so 
latch. We'll have to see precisely what everything is. Comes with keep them fresh packs too. Let me slide this back just a little bit so I can leave the contents on the front here. Oh. So I do know it has a handle, it has wheels, it has got baskets in here where you can put your stuff in. It, it's up here and then drops down. It has a drain plug in the bottom of it. I will bring the camera over here and let you look in it. Um, so before I get... That goes in there like that. So I think one of these boxes is going to be the wheels. Yeah. This one is going to be the wheels. Y'all, I apologize for wind. It is, I mean, it is bad. But that is normal for this time of year here. So what I'm doing is I got back here where I had a little bit of wind protection. So here's all the accoutrements. Dump it all out. Oh, we got a whole pack of stickers and such, y'all. Very cool. Uh, we all, we love stickers. We love stickers. Uh, so we'll have to figure out exactly how it hooks up, how it runs. Oh. Uh, I probably need to get the instruction book out and uh, and look some of this over. So there's a card of stickers. And I'm sure there is a warranty. Let's see. Guaranteed return. Guaranteed compensation, guaranteed repair. Three years on the compressor and one year for all other parts. So it's got a three year warranty on the compressor itself. So that means if it quits working, they'll fix it. Now, if you tear the handles and such off, you know, after a year, you kind of own your own. Uh, yeah, okay, we got instructions here on how to put everything together. So I do know that this these wheels will come on and off. So let me get some of this put together and I'll bring y'all back. Okay, I pulled this out. We've got our instructions here. We've got a wrench to put everything together. So I think it's gonna be fairly straight up and forward. That one goes in there. So we've got both of these on. You do need to remove these screws here. We'll get them all started before we run any of them up tight to make sure all the threads are lined up. Okay, I think these wheels can go pretty much 
much either way. That one went right on there. Okay, I have now finally got the wheels on there, and I'm not going to lie to you. This one here, I had to beat on there with a hammer. It wasn't going. The other one just slid right on, so just know that. Oh, I don't know what, what the problem was, if they didn't drill a hole big enough or, I, you know. Apparently, they were not made in the same mold, and that was a little disappointing. But nevertheless, I beat it on there with a hammer. But it does work. It's on there, so. All right, so you've got a couple of different ways of running this, apparently. Now there is a handle. These are the screws right here that I took out of the other end on the bottom. So you have got inverters here. Converts over to a cigarette lighter plug. Plugs into the wall. Okay, let's see about the functions of this thing, yeah? There is a fuse there. So it plugs in there and it is made to plug directly into a cigarette lighter plug. Um, so then if you need to plug it into a wall, you have an adapter cord that you simply plug here and then you can plug this into 110 and run it. But it is made to plug into a cigarette lighter plug. So I have got an extra one of these plugs. I will probably mount on my buggy. Probably what I will do for my application is I will mount me a one of these receiver cigarette lighter plugs and put some alligator clips on it where I can clamp it to different batteries because I may want to put it in my John boat on a battery, different things. So we will plug this up here directly, somewhere out here probably, and on an extension cord and see how cold it gets. Um, so the next thing I wanted to do, and I tell you what, while we're finishing mounting our... Uh, You have a handle here. And it mounts right here because this comes out if you need to roll it, tote it. But if you want to detach this completely, mount it on here like this there's some little plugs in there to cover up your screw holes i'm not going to put that on there right now these are the clips to cover these holes right here and that so that is let's let's plug it up to some power All right, bring it around here and look at the power on it. We got it plugged up, power comes on, it says 68. So it has a divider you can turn either end like you want it. So I did want to show you 
about move this over where I can back it up a little bit. Yeah. I wanted to show y'all the inside of it because I know you want to see. I hear it running. I know y'all probably can't hear it for the wind blowing. So you got the lighters, baskets come out. There's lights in there. See these LED lights? That way at night you can see what's in there. Has a recommendation of what goes where to what temperature. Recommended. Not absolute law. But now, obviously, y'all, you can pull these baskets, dividers out, depending on what you want to do. I mean, they're very easy just to take out. Put that down in there, but it does help if you've got stuff you want to separate, you know. Um, and it has a drain plug in there, so if you like me and you throw fish in there and then you want to rinse it out and spray, you know, Clorox cleanup in there and disinfect it, and it's kind of how I do my coolers. I'll do this the same way. I would not probably spray water around on the outside too much. So y'all, I you know, I'm impressed. I'm probably gonna go ahead and let's mount this handle on there because if I leave this laying around out here, I probably won't have it long. <laughs> but I'm gonna shut the lid and uh, we'll drop a thermometer in there and we'll see what the temperature is here in about an hour. So let's see how hard these are. Oh, I grabbed that my fingernail. Let's pull this out of the way here. Oh yeah, ain't nothing to that. Now it turned that other one down, so I'm assuming these giant screws here are on what fit this apparatus. And they sent you a, a bridge. This is a Torx bit that fits these screws. And I'm not gonna run them up. I'm just gonna start them till I get all of them started. I do that with everything, y'all. Put them in there and get them started. Y'all, I think, I mean, all honestly, I think I'm gonna really like this and get a lot of use out of it. Oh. The only difficult was getting that one wheel on, and I'm sure that was just some kind of an oversight. It's probably not going to be on every cooler. I hate it was like that for their video, but I wasn't going to hide it either. I want you all to know when you get a review on a product from me, I'm going to tell you the truth. So if something goes array, you'll know it. But that's not a deal breaker for me. I mean, even if the wheels had not been on there, in fact, before it's said and done, I'll probably take the wheel slam off and, and not even be using the wheels because it all, uh, me throwing it in a boat, if it rolls around much while I'm driving the boat, I ain't gonna have that. So most likely all of that and, and probably this handle too will probably wind up all coming off just for my personal preference but i did want to put everything on here and let you see no, i'm not going to over tighten that that is all metal fasteners so i feel like you could probably tighten them fairly good i don't want it vibrating out you put it in a boat or in the back of a truck i mean the vibrations will loosen them screws up so you want them tight I'm not like, when I say tight, y'all, I'm not like putting everything I can put on them, okay? Know that. Now, you will see this in, I'm going to do a couple of videos on it per their request. Oh. Uh,
them go a certain way because they're cut at an angle. So now you got handle there. Let me lay all this over here. Oh. Now to release this, your triggers are right under here. Pull that in and out. And y'all, it is not that heavy. Don't seem to be. I will say it seems to roll very easily. So these stops really need some, that's hard plastic. They really need some rubber on them. Tighten them up a little bit. See that ain't, we'll see. Okay, so right here, I've got both of them. If you hit the button, that's your target temperature of 40 degrees, you can go I think it goes up to 50 and it goes down to uh, zero. So I'm gonna shoot for 40 right now. And I've got the little thermometer Miss Mary sent me. It is on 80 degrees out here. Almost 80, 78 or so. And I'm just gonna lay it over in here, all right? We're gonna put it on the far compartment. Actually, I'm gonna put it in the middle. Down there. I can feel cool air down in there blowing, so. We're so we got it shut, thermometer in there, and we're gonna let it set for about an hour and see if it's fairly correct. Uh, so hang with us, we're gonna see what happens. Y'all see the cute little stickers. It has been just a hair over an hour, but we are actually below 40. See, we're on the 20 degree side. Frost it up. So I'm gonna put this back in there. I've got a bottle of water in here. See, water, not fruit. We're gonna take this thing down. I'm going to 15 degrees. I'm not gonna take it to zero. I don't really, I have no reason for zero. Not Fahrenheit, so. Let's see what it does. I heard the compressor just kick on. We're gonna see how long for this water to freeze in there and see if it gets down below freezing, such as that, so. So far, so good. I did go check my wife's truck. She has a cigarette lighter plug. That's what we call this. Now, I don't know what it's what y'all call this plug right here. We call them a cigarette lighter plug. Oh. Okay. I shouldn't have unplugged that. We call that a cigarette lighter plug, but anyway, my wife's truck has one in the back back there, so I can slide it up in there, directly plug it in, factor stuff. So the boat over there has one, and I have one to mount to my buggy, but I'm gonna get me some little alligator clips and put on the other one that I have so that I can plug it anywhere I want to. That way I can plug this just directly to a 12 volt battery. So once we see if it freezes, then we're gonna go show putting it in some of these other things, show how it works. All right, it has been about an hour. The thermometer is on 20 degrees. So the water is not froze yet. So I'm gonna leave it in there. I gotta run to town, do some stuff. So we're gonna leave this in here a couple of hours and at 15 and see what it gets down to, uh, which is for refrigeration, plenty cold. We're gonna see if it freezes and stays froze. 
Um, now, I don't have no way of testing to see how much power this is pulling, but now I will say this. Every time I have walked by here, I've not heard this compressor running, so it is not sitting here like constantly having to pull juice to keep it cold, which tells me that this is very insulated, sealed good, which, you know, in the hot summer. Now, we're in the shade outside under. It is, well, the thermometer's in there. It's about 75 degrees out here today, wind blowing, so warm. How's this going to be in midsummer if I set it in a boat? You know, we'll see. So anyway, y'all, we're going to... Uh, we're gonna let this sit here and run a little while longer and see what it looks like after a while. We back from running errands. See what this is. And showing a little above 20. I say it's on 15. But it is starting to freeze. We're gonna give it a little while and see. We wouldn't go on very long. All right, it is about 4.30. This has been running since 10.30 this morning. It's been about another hour since the last update. And it is still somewhere, according to this, right above 20. Uh, but now, however, this is this pretty well froze. Top of it solid, so. Um, I'm gonna take my thermometer Put it back on my wall. Where it goes. <laughs> All right, let's go put this in the boat. See if it hooks out the boat. Let's put it back in the truck. See what it looks like. All right, got the handle out. Rolls right along behind with you, see? Is it better than a cooler? Depends on your application and what you do. You know what I'm saying? Does everybody need one of these? I, you know, probably not. Do I? Absolutely, I do. Oh. Untwist my twisty tie. Stretch this out. You got about mm, six foot of cord. So I've got a cigarette lighter plug right here in the boat. This is my helper, y'all. Come here. Look what we got here. We got a refrigerator and a freezer to go in our boat. Climb up here. What do you tell me what you think about it? It's cool. I like it. Open the lid. That's where we're going to put our drinks when it's hot this summer. Yeah. Do what now? Are you going to go fishing tonight? Yeah. You ready to go fishing? What we're gonna catch? Big fish. Okay, well let's go. Oh, don't shut your fingers up in there. Okay. Yeah, all right. Oh, I love this boy right here. I'm gonna some grass. Yeah, let's go catch crappie. So y'all plugged up work. You can put it in this boat. I can leave it in here while we fishing. Cold drinks. The next thing is my wife's armada. When we going off doing stuff, I want to know does it how does it work in there? All 
right, y'all. That is gonna work very nice plugged up in here. Okay, so you see, we have kept this cooler bag in here to put groceries and stuff in when we're out. Cause it gets hot here, y'all, quick. Even, it's, at the, it's February the 27th and it is nearly 80 degrees right now. So this will come in handy just for hauling groceries back and forth to town. Uh, not to mention going camping, uh, putting it in the camper. So this thing is gonna really be handy for several different applications. But like I said, they have several different models. They offered to send this up here to let me test it out use it a little bit so in the course of this whole summer you'll be seeing this on a lot of trips and a lot of videos uh just using it abusing it i mean we're not going to just torture it but we're not going to baby it i don't baby anything that's why if if i want a good product something i'm going to use a lot i want a, a well-built product for the most part uh, some things it's not so important on some things i'm not using every day but things that I'm gonna use a lot, uh, I want a good product and, and we're gonna see if this is. Uh, obviously with an unboxing video the first day, I can't tell you a lot about it. I don't know about the quality. I don't know how long it's gonna last, all this stuff. But the, the basic features and things that it has right now is gonna really be handy for the summer and keeping drinks cool, keeping meat safe. I mean, we can catch fish and put them in there if we want to. The, the great thing over a cooler is it not having to have ice. And out here, other than froze bottles in the refrigerator or a freezer, it's it's 30 minutes to drive to town, get ice, and come back. So it'll save with all that. So anyway, thank y'all for watching the Spirit of the Outdoors, the set power refrigerator and freezer. Y'all have a good one. Remember, the best way to do things like to do is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.